And welcome to your Go Market Update for today, Wednesday, the 24th of August 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to take you on a wander around what's happening in financial markets today. Let's have a look at what's come across the news. Of course, US equities continued to slide in a choppy session last night. There was mixed PMI data out yesterday and markets are waiting for Fed clarity on how aggressive they're going to be. And of course, we've got Jerome Powell speaking as the headline act at the Jackson Hole Symposium, which kicks off tomorrow. US futures are mildly lower in Asian session. However, Asian indices have completely ignored that weaker US lead. ASX is up around 0.6% in early trading. Lithium stocks going bananas again. And of course, we're seeing some very positive earnings responses as the ASX is in the middle of reporting season. European futures are looking slightly softer at this stage. US dollar index dropped a little bit yesterday, despite trading near its 20-year high. The euro is still less than parity, although it did recover slightly. Outside of that, there's lots of pausing going on. Gold seems to be have paused around that important 1740 level after a recent sell-off. Oil is still in a short-term range. Looks around about $100 on the Brent crude CFD contract this morning. Uh, Copper's holding in a tight range in soft commodities. We did notice popped higher after really a few months where they've just decreased in value significantly, particularly in the grains. VIX paused under that key 25 level and Bitcoin is pausing around about that 21,000 level. Holding for now, but of course we've had a drop of around about 15% over the last few trading days. On the data front, just keep an eye on that Jackson Hole Symposium. The market is waiting for it. That kicks off tomorrow, as I've already said. US durable goods and housing data due this evening. Little else of note, we do get a little bit of a ramp up tomorrow across the board with some US jobs data, that Jackson Hole Symposium, and also a plethora of other interesting data points coming out of Europe. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye this morning. Uh, the lithium stocks continue to rise rapidly. We talked about these throughout the week on our live update sessions. Uh, you can see PLS is a great example. Really strong last three days. Uh, now looks as though it's set for a move up to around about this 370 level, which would be yet another 8% in terms of where it is now. But doesn't matter which lithium stock you're looking at, be it PLS or LTR or AKE, all doing very similar at this stage so looking very strong and why wouldn't they we're thinking about doing a special webinar session on the lithium story in the next few weeks so keep an eye out for that we're going to look at the kiwi yen today on the forex front you can see it's been trading within this really tight range of around about 60 pips over the last six or seven days and we are testing the bottom end of this again in today's trading if we look at the 30 minute chart you can see that level at around about 84.58 that it's eyeing up right now. We've had a, a really soft session in Asia as we've got a bit of yen strength going on. If we just take the chart out a little bit, we would be tempted to move this key level down to around 84.45, which is around about 22 pips from where we're trading now. Because if we think if it breaks through this level, we could see the major price change in center. No, a major change in sentiment reflected in price, possibly around about a 50 pip move to the downside. So watch for that breach of 84.40. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.